A new crazy combine harvester is heading our way soon, the Reaper. And it can do some pretty insane things. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we're going to be looking at Mac Trucker 921's upcoming Reaper Combine. Of course, this is based on a case harvester. However, you could put some interesting things like Challenger. I love Challenger. And, well, these are there too. Oh, this is so cool. At the end of the day, this is a combine harvester, so it does things that combine harvesters do. And we've got different options. For example, capacity options. We start at 14,400 liters. Very respectable. And then it gets wild and crazy. Yeah, 50,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And then we go with the extended pipe option. So you basically got every single option for the 14,400 up to half a million liters all the way through to there. Then we have engine options from 800, 15 horsepower, or 1500 horsepower rather, at 2000 horsepower. Of course, we have the Reaper logo on there. We have the Reaper itself. And of course we have some other logos around which have been changed up a little bit. Pretty cool. Uh, Wheel brands, they have kind of all of them on here. So we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, even Nokia tires on here, which is really interesting. I mean, we could do full dual tractor kings if you want to. We've even got the ground kings there if you want to do those. Some really, really neat options. You're going to see things here that you don't see on anything else, which is nice uh, because that keeps the individual or individuality with other mods in their own as well. Plus, we can... Well, we could do this. Uh, I'm sure there's been PC mods that have done crawler tracks on combine harvesters before, but nothing for all platforms. And that's what this is aimed at, which is so cool. Of course, we have all kinds of other stuff as well. We have numbers that we could put on the side between one and nine or nothing. Number decals, you could change up the inside between black and white, which allows you to set the color on the base apart. Of course, branding, we have lizard, but some of you guys don't like the lizard branding and that's okay. We have KSIH, Massey Ferguson, Fent, and Challenger. So you can add all of those if you want to. It doesn't look like there's an option to debrand it, but that would be cool as well. Then we have color options for a lot of stuff. So we have the rear trim panel colors. We're gonna go case IH here, but you can see the absolute massive amount of color. You know, let's do chrome just to show you. So all of the back part of that is now there. Now we'll do case just so it looks a little bit more normal. Front trim panel color. Let's see, we'll do a yellow so you can see everything that changes there. So we have the pipe, we have the front pieces, all of that. We're gonna make that case now as well. Then the interior color, we'll go with the yellow so you can see, and that's gonna be the entire interior on there. I know a lot of you guys like to make this uh, like a flat black, and I do too, so we'll go with that. Then we have the seat color itself. Of course, that's gonna change up all these little parts, plus the two seats. Of course, you could change those if you want to. It's kind of nice. And then, of course, rim colors are rim colors at the end of the day. Uh, by the way, this does have toothpaste tractor. So if you are like me and you want to go full toothpaste tractor mode on this, let's see, where is it? There it is. And then see color toothpaste tractor. I mean, you technically could do it. There's nothing wrong with it. Also, at least as right now, there are no license plate options. That could be something in the future, but at least in the preview version that I have, that's not a thing. Now, because this is a combine harvester, we're probably not gonna be doing anything while I'm crazy with it. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, the engine options on here sound fantastic. This is just a base model on here with some different color options. Uh, so we have fold harvester, turn it on, disable, enable, straw swath, uh, pipe out, in and out, honk, no meat, meat porn, which is nice, and then kind of toggle stuff. Uh, that's kind of it. There's no uh, opening doors or anything, at least that I've seen on here, and everything folds up nice and neat out of the way. So that's pretty cool. So we'll check the uh, beacons, just normal beacons. So though you can do some really insane stuff to this, uh, you could just utilize it as a uh, as kind of a regular combine. It's kind of sweet, but let's go over here to some of the wild ones. One of the things that I've found with the tracked version, especially with the big, oh God, listen to that engine. One of the things I found with this is uh, because it's got the crawler tracks, it, it, it's got some interesting handling characteristics, although they're very easy. Like for example, if I'm going off to the left a little bit, it will uh, kind of drift and vice versa. You can do fairly exhaustive wheelies on this thing. And all you gotta do is turn it around and switch up the weight and then slowly but surely it'll come back down. And it works every time. 
every time you do this, it does this. And I hope that that doesn't change because I mean, come on, that's so much fun. You and your buddies can get together and see who could do the, uh, the longest wheelie or anything like that. You could do, let's see if I can slow this thing down just a little bit. If we start from a uh, standstill, you could do eh, almost donuts, slidey donuts, and then the back comes down. <laughs> Yay! I mean, come on. It's fun. We've got everything else a combine harvester could do. This was obviously the next the next move and I love it. So let's take a scenario real quick. Let's say you think the wild customization is just maybe a bit much, but you like the, the logo on the side and you want to go with a, a header that kind of matches up. Well, then let's jump right in. We've got quite a few mods that would work really well for this. Uh, of course, we have some base game stuff as well. Terraflex works well with it. Uh, you can also use the 41 footer or even this guy, which I imagine most of you guys would want to go with. However, you could also go with something like this. This is from a different pack. This is from the Lizard Colossus Harvesters pack from Chris S and Riley S. This also comes with a couple things that would work really well with this combine harvester. Of course, it doesn't come with any headers, but we have some cool options. So if we're going for the case red, we can make that case red. We can change the sides case red and the room colors are gray. So that seems to work. And one of the nice things is because this is from an unreal pack, it's got a working speed of 40 some miles an hour. Actually, I bought two here. You can see the one on the right is that case, but the one on the left is, well, it's the same model, I believe. It's just been modified a little bit. I was driving this thing like it was on tracks, but obviously that's not gonna work really well for us. So let's grab this. Let's take it out of the field and I wanna show you how it works. Yeah, look at that. So we got a field here full of wheat and we are gonna jump in and uh, harvest it. We'll double check and make sure our straw swath is enabled. And it is, again, we are using a uh, fast farming header here, but you don't need to use this one. You can also use things like the uh, tool I control for harvester, stuff like that. Um, I've just hired a worker. Definitely not my dude. And he is rocket and rolling going quick. Now it's filling up fast too, because I didn't select the uh, the Unreal Capacity mod for this one. It's just uh, standard capacity doing okay. Brakes are all right, just, you know, be careful how fast you go. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can see there's a normal combine. You grab a normal header for it. Maybe you like a couple of the customization options. You could take this. Of course, we can make it a case. It's cool. Let's try something like this. The Lizardurus 60 foot. This is from Hispano Modding, I believe. We've got a couple different options here and we can even change up. Uh, at least when you're using this, I'm not sure the case uh, coupler configuration is on this. So this may be something you want to go with. Maybe something you don't want to go with. Uh, I think the closest thing's probably the Agco or the John Deere. We'll, we'll stick with that. Um, and coloring doesn't look like that's going to work either. So we'll just go with that and uh, we'll jump in. I'm going to use this one too, because I mean, of course I'm going to use this one. And we've got the extended pipe that kind of folds around itself almost. That, that rear pipe, it's a double fold. It's huge, but it also means we can use this with other goodies. So we'll pick this up, uh, we'll drop it down. Hopefully it's not too low. Actually, no, that's pretty good. And we'll pop that pipe out so you guys can see you can use this with 18 meter headers. And and actually beyond, we could probably go with 20 or 21 meter headers and be perfectly fine with this. This is ridiculous. All right, enough messing around. Let's have some fun. So what I've done is I've gone for the header that comes with the Lizard Colossus pack. Uh, it is an unrealistic capacity header. It is showy. Yeah, and I love it. So we'll jump into cord heads real quick uh, just to show you guys what I've gone with. So it is this, the Titan corn header unrealistic. It's nine meters, so it's half the size of what we showed you guys a minute ago. But um, as far as corn heads, I think this is the fastest one. And well, we haven't done a corn crop yet. So we'll go ahead and pop this out. Uh, the pipe might be a little bit long for what we're doing here, but... Uh, you know, where's the fun if you can't have a little bit of fun? So this will open up and we'll come all the way over here and we'll go and hire it on a worker. I probably should have even done this test on like a, a big map like Prairie 4X or something like that. Just to show you guys this. Uh oh, well, that's what happens. <laughs> Your pipe's too long and can hit a tree. All right, we'll drop it down, turn it on and let it go. Hire worker. 
So you can see we are going to take off. I have the unrealistic capacity in here. So this is going to hold half a million liters. Uh, it's giving me straws. Oh, I've got a mod that gives me straw from, you know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> then we just kind of take off. Super cool. Uh, actually, the, the worker is doing a lot better than I was expecting them to do. Hang on just a minute. Yo, the worker did such a good job. I have such a difficult time driving this thing straight, but it, with the tracks anyway. But this, this is okay. Let's see how the worker does right here. I'm, I'm really interested. Yo, Mack Trucker, you nailed it with this. Of course, it's gonna put it down just a little bit early as you will have to come through and get those little triangles. But you know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm still slightly confused why corn's giving me straw, but I think that's the extended straw crops. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I haven't done corn in a while. Maybe I should go back and do corn. But there you go. Uh, that is the Reaper Combine Harvester from Mac Trucker 921. A little sneak peek, uh, if you will, and maybe give you guys some ideas of what to expect coming soon. And at least for today, that is going to be it. I do want to thank Mac Trucker 921 for sending this over to show you guys ahead of time. Uh, I am planning on doing some other stuff with this in the future, in the next coming weeks, as long as it doesn't release. And if it does, well, Hey, we're gonna use it anyway, so that's perfect. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new. If you have any questions about this, hey, let me know. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. It sound right, boy.